It's almost three weeks since the floods that devastated shops up here in Ramsey. And I'm with Michael Skelly from Les Air Landscapes. Um, you were completely flooded out, weren't you? That's correct. We had two foot of water inside the office space here and in the shop front as well. Uh, from that storm surge which came down this side lane here and came in through the back door, the side door and the front door. Now we're in your back office now and um, I must say it looks much improved on, on three weeks ago when it was just in such a terrible, terrible state. How, how are you getting on with your clear-up operations? We've, we've come to a standstill at this very moment because we're waiting for the payout from the insurance people. The insurance people have promised us a certain ceiling on the payout so that we've got everybody all on standby. So that check has already been authorised and it should be on its way from the insurance company. Everybody who's given us prices, we've gone back to them and explained the situation so everybody's all on hold. But quite a number of them are, of course, they're quite busy, so they're going to try and fit us in as and when that we give them uh, the green light on it. I see from just looking outside in Parliament Street that quite a few local shops are still closed. Yes, that's correct. They're still closed because they're in the situation for us to us because they're waiting for payouts from the insurance and they're still waiting for one or two final prices to come in because the insurance companies are generally fair, but then they want more than one price. They want two or three prices and when other people are a bit slow in giving prices, so, so there's a hold up all round. Ramsey uh, has flooded before, Parliament Street has flooded before, you told me that the last time we spoke. What yeah. made this flood different? Why was this one so devastating? This flood was this flood was a completely different one from last time, because the last one was 12 years ago, and uh, the government keeps saying it's a 50-year flood, but they contradict themselves, because this was a surge, because I was watching the flood in the street here, quite happy and then said so I have enough sandbags down the side here but there wasn't uh, enough sandbags for everybody all around because people were taking sandbags for, for out of town places and people were pinching other people's sandbags on this back lane here. Our, our neighbours believed that he had sandbags and when he came back then on the next morning the sandbags had been taken and he was flooded out there with the salt water and the salt water's got uh, effluent in it and all sorts so in fact, that we haven't had even any health people around there to give us some uh, advice on. So I know I've gone off a bit track there. Aren't but, but no, do, do you yeah. feel really as if you've, you've been abandoned by, by the authorities? I was down the bottom end on the quay on the Friday watching it, and then it started coming up through the drains down on Market Square because all the drains in the street here, I've got no uh, stop cock to stop the tide coming up the drains and then flooding on the street, which has happened on quite a number of occasions. And then as soon as I seen that, I came up here, checked my sandbags, seeing that they were all right, and then I said, so, well, if it's a flood, I've got enough sandbags. But when I was in the street looking up this lane here, there was, there was a surge came up this lane, and the surge was approximately between 18 to 24 inches high surge came down this lane and then it flooded everywhere and then it went out through it then into Parliament Street and then it settled itself, it didn't go away and then it started rising and rising and as I said previously before it was about two foot in, in here I was standing on top of a case and my feet were still in the water now, Ramsey and Castletown were the worst affected places, and this week the Castletown MHK, Richard Ronan, has called for a proper sea defence programme to be put in place. Would you agree with that? I agree with that. Even, even if this lane was just blocked off with a couple of tote bags, that would have helped quite a lot. We have uh, asked uh, on the commissioners about blocking off the lane on our on, on the next flood, which is on the 1st and 2nd of February, but we've been told is a public right of way, and you would have to get a court order for that to block off the pub, public their right of way. Um, there just seems to be quite a lot of red tape. That we asked for the skip to be put in the street, and, and they said, no, you've got to have a 72 hour notice for putting the skip in the streets. So they put the skip on the, com on, on the farmer's combine compound. So, so you say this is due to happen again on the 1st and 2nd of, of February. What are you doing to prepare for that? Well, we've got marine ply, and we're going to block off this lane regardless of what anybody else tells us from the government. We, we've got marine ply to block off all these doors and then put the sandbags. The sandbags are still here in this lane because we, we requested from the DOI uh, 
gentlemen then to, to across that leave them there and they were quite happy to leave them there for our next uh, flood which is the next flood is about a fifth of a meter higher than what the one in February if you go by the labor tide table charts. <laughs> <laughs>